Hey folks, welcome back. This is Kira Questions on the Technivers channel where we answer Kira questions from users like you. If you have a question, leave it in the comments. So, today, we're going to jump right into it. And I have two questions from the same user. They're both from a person named Green Apple Pie. Uh, yeah, Apple. <laughs> uh, and the questions are, will all my custom profiles still be there if I update? And will all the current add-ons from the marketplace still work if I update? Now, this is a great question, and it has a couple of answers. So, let me explain why. We're going to jump over to Kira here. Um, and this person is talking about updating to the near, new Kira 4.11. Now, I will say, when you update, you will be given the option to keep your old version. And if you keep your old version, it will keep all of the stuff in that old version in its own separate folder. And your profiles and your add-ons will stay with that old version. That said, if you choose not to keep that old version, Kira will do its best to import all of your profiles and the add-ons into the new version by moving those folders, but that doesn't necessarily always work the best. So in a lot of cases, the best thing that you can do is simply take and select keep old version, um, and then in your new version, go ahead and re-download those add-ons, or you can even actually copy and paste the folder in most cases to the new Kira folder. Um, I do the copy and paste thing with my themes, um, you can change the theme in Kira. Let's go configure Kira. Um, there's a special folder in your Kira folder that will allow you to add different themes that you make and you can customize them. Um, and there's only four in here because I haven't moved that folder to the new version 4.11 yet. And I'm going to copy that. And I think maybe we should go and do that now just to kind of show you how that works. So let me find my Kira folder and I will be right back. So here we go, we're about to do this. I'll show you that I keep all of my old Kira versions. Let me move this down here. You can see I have 4.8, 4.9, 4.91, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna show you is actually in here. So we're gonna right click and open a new window and then we're gonna open 4.11 as well. <clears throat> we're gonna go into the resources folder and open the themes folder. And you can see that I have four themes in here, but in this one, Go to resources and themes, and I have five. So let's take this one. This is a theme that I made that I thought was pretty funny. Um, I, I enjoy it, but it's high contrast. It's kind of dark, not really for everybody. Uh, edit and paste. And you do have to give administrator permission, and it's going to copy, it's going to paste. Now, um, now keep in mind, what I do is generally, if there's something I want to keep, like a set of profiles, I go into my Kira folder and I find it. And by the way, I'm just under C in Program Files, and then Ultimaker and your version. So um, I'll, I'll take, uh, I have a separate folder in my C drive that is just Kira files that I want to keep, and I basically add to that all the time, and then I copy and paste. Now that I have that here, we're going to close Kira because... You can see it doesn't show up here yet. So close, close. I'm going to open it up one more time here. And open 4.11. And I'll be right back with you as soon as it's opened up. And here we are. Okay, so I am going to have to reopen it again. But let's show you here so you can tell this Kira 4.11 because of the new icons let's go to extensions uh, preferences excuse me configure Kira and you can now see that it has the back Kira theme in here so if I click on that and click close it will tell me I need to restart Kira I just want to make sure that it's selected and saved it yes it did and we will close and start Kira again and here it is, back Kira. Now, obviously, this is a, a theme I made with an older version of Kira, so with the new icons and stuff, it's not really working out very well. Um, that's okay. I'm going to make some adjustments to this. Maybe you'll see it again soon. We're going to switch back to the regular version. But I did want to point out that there are several other things in these folders here. So let's go to the themes folder. Um, and this is in my 4.8 folder. There's lots of stuff you can copy. In fact, a lot of times there are things uh, in here, meshes, that's gonna be uh, build plate models. Some of those I'll take with. Uh, definitions, bundles, of course, your extensions are going to be, I think one folder back. Yes, plugins right here. So um, yeah, you can copy and paste any of this stuff. 
of course now all of this being said to get back to your question and be a little bit more direct about answering it will your custom profile still be there if you update um, I'm gonna go ahead and just say no okay because I don't ever recommend that you get rid of your old version I always recommend you get the new version and test it out for a while and then if you like it you can get rid of your old version which means you're gonna have to transfer those over yourself however if you feel lazy and you're really trusting go ahead and get rid of your old version and it should import those profiles automatically very rarely there is an error where people will lose those profiles which is why I always recommend keeping the older version but if you don't feel like doing it manually and you don't have a want to have 50 versions secure on your computer um, you can definitely give it the old college try it should transfer everything properly without any issues I personally have never had any problems with it but I do a lot of digging in the older versions for bugs and things like that so I tend to keep the old versions around and I test out the new versions as soon as they come out which means I could have an unstable version and if I get in a pinch and really need to slice something I want to have my backup version with my settings ready to go in case I need a product done really quickly so um, I hope that answers your question uh, I know it was a little off topic but and, and a little long but uh, pretty much the same principle applies to all of the files within Kira and a lot of that stuff is editable yourself which makes it very very interesting um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any care questions, leave them down below in the comments. I hope this was useful to you, Green Apple Pie, and we will see you in the next one. Stick around, guys. I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.